All right, here we go. We're in Montana. Still got a few hours to drive before we get to the unit. 24 hours ago, I was doing the national anthem for the Bristol night race in Tennessee. And 24 hours later, here I am in Montana. It's been a long day, day and a half, flying to Bristol, doing the race, getting back at two, showering, going to bed, not sleeping, right back out to the airport, get on the plane, fly here. Can't wait to get in the woods. Got a few more hours of driving, crank up the radio. And, uh, the next time you guys see me, we'll be in the woods chasing bugles. All right, good morning, YouTube. This is officially day one of hunting. Got up early, drove out to this spot, parked, walked in here a little bit. And uh, right now I'm just sitting here on this side of this hill. Sun's starting to come up, waiting for the thermals to switch a little bit. Um, before I crest over this ridge, there's a ridge over here I want to get over to and there's a big north facing slope I want to get on before the elk get there. Haven't heard anything this morning ran into one other hunter He's gonna hunt way further down the road, but uh, I guess that's good if there's other people in here That means there's probably elk in here. So All right. quick update. I heard a bugle So that's good. I kind of just walked down a little bit to get a little closer to this ridge and I could hear a bugle way off the other side but I know there's a road over there, there's some pop, there's some private, and I'm kind of like playing parallel to the road in the private. So, secondly, sorry for the last video being out of focus. I switched my camera into manual focus and it's kind of hard to do it all by yourself. So, apologies for that. Uh, that bugle I had this morning, I got the wind right and pushed in and never heard, never saw it, never saw that elk. Didn't bump anything, didn't really see a ton of fresh signs, so I'm wondering if I heard it from across this canyon over here um, on one of these south-ish slopes. So uh, I got this little setup here now. I'm going to kind of glass into some of these, I don't know, like little bowls. And It's the first time I've really glassed off a tripod. It's awesome. It makes your glass ten times better. Like you can have a cheap $100 pair of binos, you put them on a tripod, they get better. So, um, tripod's the way to go. Well, uh, if anything changes, I'll uh, fire this camera up and let you know. <clears throat> All right, so it's about noon. I'm just not seeing any elk in here, uh, at least where I'm at. I get down to this creek, which it's all marshy, which it should be, and uh, when I get down here, I spook some cattle and they ran up the drainage that I wanted to go up. Yeah, I hear you. So, um, that kind of foils my plan because I was going to follow that drainage up and around and kind of loop back and start heading back towards the truck. But if they stay ahead of me, they're just going to spook whatever the hell is up there. So, I don't know what to do now. Probably, I don't know. I'll figure it out though. Got nothing else to do. Just walk around for a few more days. Welcome back to the channel. It is day two. Um, we did get that big temperature drop, but with that temperature drop came a lot of wind. And I'm sure you can see it behind me in this grass. With this wind coming right out of the north northwest i figure they're probably going to be on some south slopes or some east slopes to get out of that wind drop a comment let me know i don't know i don't have a ton of experience doing this just trying to figure it out so uh yeah we'll uh we'll update you when we see something or if we don't oh it's dirty all right um so i don't even know what time it is but it's still morning-ish. It's not quite noon. I was walking from the area I was at. It was super windy. I couldn't hear anything. I I found some old elk bed. Ran into some poop on the ground. But it was all like crusty and starting to do the white. So that's old. So I, uh, re I'm just moving from this that ridge where I was to another ridge. And then while I was moving, I figured I might as well just glass up into some of this stuff um so i don't have to walk through it all necessarily but just get a good look man because like it's so windy right now i can't hear anything and i even if i bugle it ain't going anywhere so this kind of turned into like a spot and stock 
instead of a bugle and find, I guess. Call and call back. A Marco and Polo. All right, I'm done. But uh, yeah, I stopped here because my foot started to get a hot spot on it. So I'm gonna put my liners on and uh, relace my boots back up, and then get going here pretty soon. But day two, again uneventful. Wind drop. The wind pickup was not good. Me being on these ridges is probably not uh, the best either. The elk are probably down in the bottoms where it's probably a little less windy and doing elky things, but here I am up on the ridge. Drop a comment if you uh, got some tips and advice for me, or if you want to drop me a pin where an elk is going to be standing broadside at 25 yards, I would greatly appreciate it. But back to uh, fixing my foot and uh, yeah. Let me get a little get out where I was at because I didn't hear or see anything so I just pulled down one of these random national forest roads it looks okay saw a truck drove about maybe a mile past it parked get my stuff ready and I can hear a bugle ripper right over the top of the hill so it's either him no that's elk I'm going after him All right, what a difference a couple of hours and some miles make. The last two days, I haven't heard anything, seen anything, and was completely discouraged. Finally saw one. I had a nice 5x5 that was above me, about 82 yards, on the same slope that I was. And then in the drainage, a little bit later, calling, another bull fired off from across the drainage and started calling. That was a nice 6x5. And... Uh, that was really cool. We called back and forth for a little bit. He got way closer, and then uh, he got to a point where he should have seen me and didn't, so he started barking, and that was cool. And I uh, never heard an elk bark before, so he started barking and started raking a tree, calling some, but uh, I was kind of frozen. I didn't know what to do. I was kind of in the open, didn't really have a ton of cover to call from and draw him over, 
Uh, he did not want to leave that side of the ridge. I was just on the wrong side of the drainage, and uh, that was awesome. So I'm actually parked not too far away. I'm going to sleep in the truck tonight and uh, listen to them bugle, and hopefully I can get in on them in the morning. I plan on staying in there all day. It's not a far hike in. Weather's supposed to be really good again. If the wind keeps coming out of the north, that'll just be perfect for me. Also, when I was ranging stuff, like things look a lot further than they actually are. I thought that bull was probably 120 yards away, and when I ranged him, he was only 60-something. So I double-checked my rangefinder a few times, ranging some closer trees, and everything just looks way further than it is. So that kind of caught me off guard a little bit until I started ranging everything, or else I would have shot. Hell, I would have had a bull at 30 yards. I probably would have shot him for 60 because they look, it looks that far away. All right, here we go. Good morning. So we're going to... I'm going to finish up my coffee here this morning and fire up and get up that hill and uh, hopefully we can get on them before the sun breaks and we can keep bugling and I can stay on them or we can just chase them into their bedroom maybe if we don't get one before then. I saw that bull this morning chasing a cow. I saw one cow that almost ran me over. She was about 20 yards off to my right, um, running by me. And then uh, I quickly knocked an arrow and the bull was chasing another cow, going in another direction. <sighs> Through some trees and kind of just, just over this ridge where I could see the heads, but I couldn't see his body. I'd still shoot him 100%. I should a video on here. Um, I got of him real quick because he was too far away for me to shoot or even call the stop. So I looked at the map, see where they were going. All right. Welcome back. Nothing's really changed. And I heard two bugles. One off to my right now. And then the other one across that drainage and uh, back on the hill on the other side. One went off over there first, was the loudest, and then this one piped off, was a little quieter, um, like a minute later. I know there's at least two bulls over here somewhere. Maybe it's that one and that one, but um, there's at least two over here. I want to be up in here all day in case they move, um, but if they're just bedding down right now, I got a good hour or two before they're going to move. It looks like it's going to be overcast all day, so the sun's not going to be beaten down. Hopefully this plays into my favor. We'll see. Fingers crossed. The first two days were a dick punch. Didn't see a single elk. No sign. We'll uh, we'll see what happens. Here's a quick update. So I waited all day up here. I switched when the wind switched. I bedded these elk. And at some point during the day, they gave me the slip. I went through a little walkabout on the backside just to make sure, see if I'd bump anything out of there. Came across a nice mule deer, but uh, so I am just gonna walk my happy ass that way towards the truck because I'm like three miles from it. So maybe I come across something on the way to the truck, but uh, sun's starting to go down. Not a good day. I mean, this is probably my most eventful day. Um, but, oh, I really had higher hopes. Elk hunting's hard, man. It's hard and I suck at it. Alright, good morning, YouTube. And I'm headed in there from the other way, um, from another road, because the wind is just better. <clears throat> um, when I dropped in, I got about, I don't know, a half mile in and uh, just ripped a locator bugle and one bugle downwind to me, probably a couple hundred yards, and uh, he hasn't responded to cow calls or anything since, but I'm sure you guys can hear this. It's really windy today. Uh, forecast calls for a little bit of rain and winds from the nautical range of like 15 to 22 um, with 35 gusts. I don't know what that is in miles an hour, but 
doesn't sound good. So this morning I'm just gonna walk about, maybe try to bust some elk up. I don't know. I just don't know what to do. I don't have that many tricks in my trick bag, so just trying to figure it out. But uh, I did find a bear skull. That was pretty cool. I want to kill whatever's doing that. Dude, I want to kill that thing. That's like a few days, if not. The sap is still wet, still tacky. I did hear a bull bugle this morning, like I said. Um, but it's been so windy, it's just so hard to pinpoint them. I'm just trying to walk through some of these draws and trying to hit some of these north facing slopes, but I keep coming across some decent sign like this. I came across some poop that was like smearable, super fresh. If something changes, I'll uh, fire this camera back up, but for now I'm just gonna continue to mosey around, log miles. All right, huge change of plans. I started walking and I looked behind me and I can see this enormous storm rolling in, a lot of lightning, and I just don't think it's that smart for me to be out there right now, especially when I have a vehicle to sit in. I'm gonna wait this out in the truck and hopefully this doesn't take too long, but uh, kind of a another layer to the dick punch cake that I've been served up this week. So there's a lot of lightning in the distance. So I'm just gonna hang out here for the next 30, 40 minutes to see what the storm does. Right now it's just starting to blow over the top of me. Montana 2022 archery elk hunt in the books. I saw a lot of really cool bulls on this trip. Weather took a turn for the worse this afternoon and it started lightning and hailing and there was a really big storm coming in. So I got out as fast as I could. There's more weather coming and I just, I didn't want to put myself in a position to jeopardize what I do on the weekends by getting hurt, um, slipping, falling. I know that's always a threat, but especially when it's wet, a lot of the two track roads I've been getting in and out of, um, this rental pickup truck I have, it's just, it struggled enough um, when the conditions were dry. I saw a lot of really good bulls. Um, I got into some elk. I had some marginal shot opportunities that I chose not to take. I'm getting ready to pack up my stuff, looking forward to getting at least eight hours of sleep. I've gotten no more than four and a half to five max for the last week, and that's part of it. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'm Jeff Cordero. We'll check you on the next video.